What is happening, world changers? I am in Quito, Ecuador, and I am headed to the park La Carolina, I think that's what it's called. And uh, it's the same park that I was at last week after I went up in the mountains, but today we're going to get a uh, more in-depth look at it. It's beautiful. It's warm. It's not raining every day that I've been here so far. It's been like two weeks. It's almost rained almost every day. So we're gonna go take a look at that park and see what we can find. So I got a little bit of time. I'm headed to the Parque de la Carolina and it's about a 30 minute walk from where I'm staying. It's uh, where I'm staying is uh, by the Los Coros Bull Fighting Arena, I think is what it's called. Uh, I will verify that later. But it's about a 30 minute walk, so I thought I could say um, thank you on my landmark 100 subscribers. I am so thrilled to have 100 subscribers. You know, what's next? 200, 500, 1,000. We're just going to keep growing. So, to those of you that are new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And not only will that help me out and help the algorithm get my video out there a little bit more, but you will also be entered in to win $100 um, that I'm trying to send out. It's been about a week and a half now, almost two weeks, where I've been contacting people and no one responds. So I've done it with about five people so far. Um, and the way to do it, so the way that it's happening is when you like, comment, and subscribe, I get a notification and I can see who you are. And then I'm picking someone at random and I will either mention it in the comments and say, hey, you've been selected, hit me up in 24 hours and claim your prize. And that's one way to do it. And then the other way is if your channel or your account has an email address attached to it, then I will reach out to you. I reached out to one person, they didn't respond for like four days. And then I said, hey, guess what? Nobody else has responded either, so I can still pick you. And uh, then they never responded again. So I don't know if people think it's a scam. It's not a scam. Like, comment, and subscribe, and you'll get $100. You'll get some, well, you could be selected for $100. But back to Keto. Keto's nice. It reminds me a lot of Bogota. Uh, to the mountains. Uh, it's very kind of in the middle of metropolitan and suburbia. Like there's some neighborhoods that remind me of a, you know, suburbs and some neighborhoods that are just all high rises and, and buildings. Over where I'm going now, La Carolina, is uh, a lot of the high rises, so it's pretty cool. Um, it's in US dollars, which is nice because then I don't have to do conversions in my head. But it's also a little bit pricey in some aspects. Uh, I'll do another video on you know, food and stuff like that, but my housing is definitely cheaper than it was in uh, Puerto Morelos. And uh, I, I've noticed for COVID, uh, this has nothing to do with prices, but COVID related, everybody wears a mask here. It's not some people, it's not just in the stores and shops, it's all people all the time. So, trying to cross the street. So that's kind of cool for anyone that's COVID conscious and thinking about coming to Quito. It's very safe. Everybody wears a mask. And then the same protocols that you see in a lot of other Central and South America, you know, temperature checks, hand sanitizer in every business, stuff like that. So, so, uh, so far it's been pretty nice. I've been here for two weeks and I like it a lot. So this is Parque La Carolina, and uh, it's a beautiful park, it's a beautiful day. People playing basketball, kids over there doing karate, there's a soccer field, everyone looks like they're having a great time. Kind of like a bouncy castle slide thing for your kids. I don't know if I trust that. A little bit about Parque La Carolina. Uh, it's pretty much right in the middle 
uh, Pito. It's uh, 160 acres or 164 acres, which is big. Um, until I looked up how big Central Park was in New York, and that's about 800 something acres, which is crazy because the surface area of Manhattan is 23.8 square miles or something like that. And it's crazy that they have an 800 acre park. Smack dab, kind of not in the middle, but more north of Manhattan, but still in Manhattan, which is wild. This is kind of cool. Looks like they got a giant track that goes around, not all of it, definitely not all of the park, but around a section. I don't know if this is broken into like a mile or what, but it's nice. They also have these like fruit stands all over the place. So I thought I would give myself a Yugo de Naranja, a orange juice, and it only costs a dollar. Alright, I got my orange juice, freshly squeezed, it's the way to go. If you guys haven't had freshly squeezed orange juice, it will put pasteurized and regular orange juice, store-bought orange juice I guess, to shame. It is on a different level. The nectar of the gods right here. They got rings, ropes, pull-up bars, dip things, pretty much everything you need. This is pretty cool. They have this statue of this guy Jeff Jefferson Perez that got gold in the Olympics in Atlanta in 1996 and then again in China in 2018. Alright, I am going to try the botanical gardens again. Um, here's nice. Last time I was here was last weekend and they don't take debit or credit cards. So and I didn't have cash. So now I have cash and uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. It's supposed to be really pretty. So these are the hours. 10 to 3. I don't know if that's every day, but 10 to 3 for adults. $3.50. These are American prices in US dollars. Alright, as to be expected. It's very green. And it's very pretty. Very peaceful. No idea where I'm going. But it's nice. Well, this is interesting. The Incas flower. To this day, peasants cultivate guantos and floripandios at their home entrance to ward off evil spirits. Shamans and healers use them in rituals to release bad energies. The sword billed hummingbird thanks to its beak it can feed on these flowers. Now that has to be those red things over there. Right? So that's what it looks like. And that's the Incan flower. And of course they have bathrooms. Another bird, which leads me into this next section, which is really cool. All sorts of different cactuses, and succulents, or cacti. I'm not sure what the plural of cactuses is. The plural of cactus, cacti. Leave a question or leave a comment in the comments if you know what the plural of cactus is. Leave it in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing footage from Let's Change. Where I'm all about finding out ways that we can all explore the world and change it for the better. Alright, I don't know if this is a path, but I'm gonna try it. I'm probably going to a closed off section. But it's our secret. This looks definitely like that.
Museum de Banzai. Okay, I can see it's kind of got a Japanese feel to it. Something's going on over there. Head into the Museum of Banzai. It looks like there's something going on. Let's take a look. Some type of exercise activity. This is beautiful. Great spot to exercise. Lots of beautiful bonsais. Yeah, I decided I didn't want to interrupt anything, but the museum of bonsais, it's not very huge, it's not very big, but there's a lot of beautiful trees. You can tell that they've been taken care of and very pretty. So that is the botanical garden. Uh, you might recognize this from last week's video when they wouldn't let me in by trying to pay with credit card. This is the way that I walked out. But yeah, for $3.50, not bad. You could definitely spend an afternoon there. Well, that's pretty cool too. They have a uh, like a bike track with like banked walls and it's all concrete. Looks like you could have a lot of fun there. And I think someone from Ecuador did really, really well in the BMX category of the Olympics or something. So somebody told me that it's inspired a lot of people to get into BMX. So that is my Parque La Carolina uh, video. Really nice, good way to spend my morning. Botanical garden you could definitely spend a little bit more time at. But overall it's an awesome park. No shortage of activities, that's what I was trying to say earlier. Um, tons to do. Uh, $3.50 botanical garden was, was fine, it was worth it. Um, and that's about it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content. And uh, if you really want to contribute, go to my Patreon page. Um, link is in the description. And uh, help me out. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the notifications bell because I might reach out to you in the comments if you win that $100. Or I might reach out to you via your channel if you have any way to contact you on there I might reach out that way as well but until next time change the world